Today, we are launching a stack using the cloud formation template. What is the template? So this consists of, you know, steps <clears throat> in the order to configure the AWS resources and provision them. Okay. So this is written in uh, YAML or the JSON language. So pretty much most of the folks use the YAML because it's a plain and simple, not the cumbersome. Why should I go for cloud formation? Because to manage your resources efficiently and more proficiently, we go with cloud formation. And you can spend more time on the applications running in AWS and less time on the managing the resources. And this is one of the widely used service uh, for infrastructure as a core. Okay. Now let's make our hands dirty, get into the cloud formation uh, service. And we are on the cloud formation, create a stack. And I'm there are several options are here template is ready. Yes, my template is ready. And use a sample template, what are sample templates available in AWS. And um, since my template is ready, I'm using a uh, creating a template in the designer and create the template in designer. And I'm just uploading my template here, which is in uh, YAML. So open and uh, local file. And um, is it to YAML? Hence, you can see what this template is doing. It is launching a EC2 resources with two security groups. One is with SSH enable and this web security group. So let's look into that. So in this template, uh, briefly, the main session is resources, where in this resources, we are looking at the type of uh, resources which we are creating here. This is EC2 instance. And the attributes of the EC2 instance, like the type of the EC2 instance, security groups, key name, image ID, and uh, these are all the virtual uh, hard disks, and the bootstrap script, which is under base64, which is called intrinsic function. This exclamatory mark followed by ref, this is also one of the intrinsic functions, and the security groups. So whatever we are referring here, these are defined under the parameter section. So some of the parameters like with the default value, like instance type, key name is no default value. We are just defined the key name. Instance type, like we have a default value and you can select the what kind of instance type you need. And SSH location, the default um, um, uh, IP address we have given is like, it's we are allowed to the public like by no by noting that zero 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 four zeros slash zero similarly for the web location okay let's validate this so by clicking on this your template is valid now and you can launch this template by clicking on this and click on next and as i said like you have to give this is a my web server stack parameters your instance type as i mentioned in the template default is t2 nano but we can change to t2 micro and the key name which i created as the key name we are supplying here and this is the ami id ssh location and web location and click on the next and you can click on the next and you can create the stack. So what it does is it creates a EC2 instance with all those security groups and with that AMI ID. So let's wait for a minute and it will be done. So still it is in process. Now it is done. So here, if you see, this is the stack info. What all the stack? What is the stack and how it is created? When it is created, and the events. So what all the events it went through? 
resources, what resources it created, like EC2 instance, SSL security group, web security group. Primarily resources are related to like, uh, you know, for example, VPC is a one resource and S3 is one resource. So all the resources which you use to run your application, those are all nothing but resources. And output is our EC2 instance, click on this. Or you can go to uh, parameters in the meantime. And these are the parameters, instance type. Yeah, we'll wait until, I mean, this is still coming up. So we'll wait for a couple of minutes, it comes up. So instance type, key name, AMID, SSH location, web location. And this is the template which we have used. Now go to our resources, go to our instance ID. Wait for a couple of minutes to come up. Yeah, it's now initializing. So now if you copy paste uh, this DNS and whatever we have provided in the script, we can see here now. See, this is what. Yeah, this is how, how quick it is to create the cloud formation. And this cloud formation templates can be uh, report either in S3 or the GitHub. And um, when you don't need, you can delete this. So this is how you can delete the stack. And now all the resources will get deleted. That's all pretty much. Thank you so much.